all this. And but listen, so Lindsay loses Lindsay loses Danielle. He loses Kyle. I mean, not really, but a little bit. It's like it's this couple, this coupling has caused, you know, they're just, but they're together till the end. So there's that. Um, but you know, it's gonna be a good season. Lots of other things going on. I mean, you know what's really keeping me up more than because I see you have Brittany intervention, and you know what's really shocking. And by the time this comes out, everyone, I need to know what's going on with MGK and Megan Fox. There's there's a Randall tie-in. Randall is the way they met from, from the movie. Really? Oh, that's right. They met on Randall's right. movie. If you were listening, even though you got bored when I told my Randall story and he said, Megan's mad at you. And he met Megan Weaver from Jeff Lewis, even though she wasn't. I thought he was talking about Megan Fox and I almost shit my fucking pants because I'm like, if Megan Fox is mad at me, like my life is over. Like there's no podcast here. She's going to shut my podcast down. Um... I need to know why she did these postings from Lemonade and basically is unfollowed MGK and everybody and then follows Harry Styles and Eminem, his enemy, and I think Justin Bieber. I got to know. Doesn't sound like it's going to end well for these two. I would love to see her with Eminem. I think, oh. They would be so hot together. And so I do see her with a rock star. There's something very Pam Anderson about her. Just so stunning, stunningly beautiful. Um, I, I, think, I think I never saw Did you? I don't think you ever listened to MGK. MGK did an interview on Howard Stern. He's very young. He has so much trauma from his childhood. Oh, like my what God. What type of trauma? I think oh, he is so fucking hot. Sad. He's so well, hot. His parents were basically in a religious cult. And his mother like left him when he, when he was a little boy, like four or five years old, took off to be in this religious cult, whatever the fuck calling she had and left him with his father to raise him. And the father was a mess too. So I think it was like aunts and uncles and grandparents. He kind of bounced around. Look, that will mess you up right there. That's a lifetime of therapy of figuring out why would my mother do this? And you know, years they were estranged and she showed up at a, now, I don't, you know, I'm sure a lot was going on with her psychologically to do that. She showed up to a concert, like backstage, to reunite with him. And well, that's sort of obviously, how, when your son is MGK, you 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 seem to want back in. And isn't that terrible after all that? And then you only want back in because he's famous. Now, I can't um, say that, I, I thought can't. it was a different reason. I thought it was money. I mean, people sit over oh. here and judge me and you when we say that we love money. Everybody oh, loves money. Money is the root of like all evil and all greatness. It's like, so yeah, I think she's thrilled that he's famous, but I think she came for like a fucking As payday. Lenny Dykstra, the very famous um, Mets player once told me in an interview, people who say that money is the root of all evil have never had money. And it I love is, it. I love I it, know. baby. Lenny, Lenny Dykstra's a total, <laughs> he's a trip. But anyway, so I, I've to me, when I heard that, and, you know, he's very much, he's done so many drugs. He's kind of semi, so he got a little bit sober with Pete Davidson and he supports Pete Davidson because Pete Davidson like almost was suicidal over drug use. So stop. It's really like, to me, I want to like mother MGK and their relationship was very mothering. Like she was kind of, because Megan Fox is a mom to three children. I just don't think the dynamic worked. It was very like, obviously very hot, hot sex. They're gorgeous. They're in Hollywood. All those things seem great, but I'm sure he has a lot that he's still working through. And then to be famous, I don't know. I just, I feel like she needs to be with someone else. And I, I want, I don't know. I want him to be, to get all the help he needs to be a great person. Well, it seems like she cheated. Um, I don't think she's going back to Brian Austin Green, who has a new, you know, newborn with Shauna. And um, Randall Emmett, you know, another one of your matches that I guess just doesn't have the distance, Randall. I'm sorry. Pretty much shocked, um, though. Are you shocked? Did you think... Did you think MGK and and Megan Fox were going to get married? I never really thought about it. I really feel because, you know, I always say nothing shocks me, which is true. I mean, if I really think of what shocked me and like even the Bravo world, Erica Jane, not everything that happened, the day she announced her divorce from Tom on E, that shocked the hell out of me. That did. Yeah. Now, all we had a lot of things happen afterwards, but don't think about it. When we when she announced that we didn't have all the scandal and sh all that didn't come to later. That shocked no. me. The fact that I sat here all season and I stand by it. And I said, Ramona and Luann will keep their jobs and Leah 
and Sonia Morgan and Ebony will be fired, which I stand by from season 13. And then we have two Ronies. I mean, that shocks me. The second one never happening and is not going to happen. That doesn't shock me. I called that from the first minute. But the fact that we had an announcement of two Ronies, well, I didn't see that one coming. So those are two things that truly shocked me. I guess this doesn't shock me. I mean, just because of their age, they did seem kind of similar. Yeah, I think she needs like a nice, calm guy after this but eminem is like sober got his shit together his daughter Haley, just got engaged seems is engaged he hot her. enough for her right. though i mean brian austin green is hot as fucking hell and so is mgk is does, does, does eminem keep himself in shape over there oh, eminem's hot and eminem i mean you know there's a star you know i mean mgk is a star too but not i mean eminem is like a star star He's, you know do you know who's one of the do you biggest, know who's, what well, I was gonna say uh, Brielle Bierman is hot for MGK too. I mean, for um, for him and Eminem, those are her favorites. She told me. I'm just saying. I don't blame her. I mean, there's both attraction. I I just I mean I I don't have any tolerance for the drugs. Like I can't. Like sorry, I go to bed at nine. Like, what are you gonna do? Cocaine? Stay up by yourself? I'm sure you're gonna be with someone else. Sorry, I gotta get my beauty rest. Uh, so I can't. You know, so Eminem is more attractive to me because that man's like sober now. I think he's like going to bed at ten, you know, and he's probably watching White Lotus season two. So I'm down for him, but I'm not shocked that they're not together. There's there's a lot of good celebrity dirt though this past week. Well, we're gonna have to talk about it on our next show because we are out of time. Love everybody. Um, yeah, we we got a lot to get to, but that's and we can talk a little bit more about Britney. But that's it. I feel bad for Randall, and you know, sorry it didn't work out, Randall. Um, everyone should follow you at the Sarah Fraser. So, see, I was very calm today. I was very calm the whole time. You were. You were. You were wonderful. Yeah. I did. I got a one star review on my podcast, and it said, "Sarah, you are a strong woman who always has a voice. Get a backbone and stop letting David Yontif interrupt you." Yeah, they always think I interrupt you. I really don't interrupt you. I interrupted you today, so there you go. I mean, I, you know, like, I don't think you do. I, I don't know why people, I love hearing what you have to say and our relationship is so easy and, tell, and it's such built on such honesty. I What I adore the most about you is like, David and I always have all these adventures and business ideas and David will call me and he'll go, you don't want to go in business with me. I, I'm going to save you from me. And I go, that's a true friend. That's a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> This this work. works fine. I've worked it's with great. people before. It won't end well. It won't end well. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm saving you from me. It's like a real friend, like a friend of mine from high school now is starting to have feelings for this other friend. It's a long story. They dated like a thousand years ago. And she's just like, you know, we'll we'll sacrifice the friendship if we like see. I'm like, yeah, actually you will. So I mean, I don't know what you want from me. So that's like this. It won't end well. I want to be friends with you because I adore you and you've helped me so much with my business and my confidence. And that is most important to me. So I, no problem. We don't need to go into business. I would rather be friends with you. And we do this and it's great. Okay.